Hello and welcome to the Creating a Simple Bookmarklet screencast. In this quick screencast, we'll show you what a bookmarklet is and how you'd create one. A bookmarklet is a link in your browser bookmarks and doesn't take you off the current page, but executes some JavaScript code that performs a particular task. In other words, it's a bookmark applet. Bookmarklets come in all shapes and sizes and perform a wide variety of functions, such as content manipulation, browser manipulation, and even games. Today we're going to create a bookmarklet to resize a browser window to a 1280 by 720 pixel resolution. We'll call it 720p if I. We use something similar to resize our browser windows when capturing our screencasts. One click and the browser is resized and ready for capturing. Let's create an HTML file. It doesn't matter what the name is, it's just somewhere to put our link. Within this, let's create a link with nothing for the href attribute. Now, this is going to feel a bit like going back to the days before jQuery. We're going to put JavaScript code into the href attribute. Let's do an alert saying, hello world. Before any of our JavaScript code, we need to add JavaScript followed by a colon. As you can see, an alert appears. While we're not going to declare or use any variables in this tutorial, it's best to wrap our code in an anonymous function. As you can see, the alert still appears. Now for the 720p ifying code. We need to call the resize2 method on our window. It takes two parameters, width and height. By the way, the resize2 method doesn't work in Chrome or Opera, but Firefox, Internet Explorer, and Safari should all be fine. Let's press the link and see what happens. Just as expected, it resizes our window. Now we can drag this link into our bookmarks bar. When we visit another website and press the 720pfi bookmark, it resizes our window. That's because all the JavaScript is contained within the bookmarklet itself. And that's how to create a bookmarklet. Bookmarklets with small amounts of code are easily managed inline. However, you may want to write more complex code that would be better to write in an external file. So we plan on doing some follow-up bookmarklet screencasts on creating more complex bookmarklets that incorporate external sources in jQuery. If there's anything you'd like to see covered in these follow-up screencasts, please let us know in the comments on screencasts.org. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our RSS feed, follow us on Twitter, and please leave any questions, comments, or suggestions for new screencasts in the comments below. If you like our videos and think your friends, followers, or colleagues would benefit from seeing them, please feel free to share via any of the links below the video. We really appreciate your support. Help support screencasts.org by purchasing the Screencasts iPhone and iPad apps available through the App Store and iTunes. You can also donate directly via PayPal in the sidebar. Thanks in advance for helping us share this content. See you next time!